So I was looking at debit cards that offer cash back. When I came across these uh, debit cards, they're prepaid debit cards, and some of them have bank accounts linked to them on the, the Walmart website. Press that like button and subscribe. It really helps the algorithm to find us. And so I read an article maybe a year or so ago that Walmart is getting really big into banking, and it mentioned this Walmart money card. And so I looked into it, and they're actually using the same bank that I'm that Wealthfront is using for their checking feature on their account that I'm using, which is the Green Dot Bank. And then I I found that Green Dot Bank also does like two two more of these. Uh, here's one right here they do, and and I, th I think another one here is also I think this one is also Green Dot Bank, and. Although these look like just prepaid cards, um, some of them have banking features where you can do direct deposit. You can get uh, some type of benefits out of it that you you wouldn't get with an ordinary um, prepaid debit card. So I was I was a little bit surprised. I know that Walmart is usually the most the cheapest or the most affordable. I know that Walmart is usually pretty affordable when it comes to their own branded products, and unfortunately they. There's better options available. There's better banking options available on, on the internet. But as far as on the Walmart website for these prepaid debit slash bank cards, I think they're probably the best. The Walmart card is probably the best out of this group here. So the American Express is probably the most expensive. It has a $7.95 monthly fee that you can't get rid of on, I think, all of the cards that I looked at. Although they do have one that offers 1% cash back, but at $8 a month, that just doesn't, it's not worth it at $8 a month. And most most of these don't pay interest either on your money. The only one that pays interest is the Walmart money card. It pays roughly 2%, which is you know low by internet standards today, right now, but, uh, you know, if you compare this tra traditional brick and mortar bank, this still beats the brick and mortar bank, and it does have a monthly fee, which is that's the biggest surprise here. And I'm gonna get into that today. So you get a twenty-five dollar bonus if you direct deposit your tax refund, and an additional the five hundred dollars is, uh, I believe, that's the direct deposit requirement. So not much of a bonus on this one. So you get cash back. Now the cash back that you get isn't isn't the best. It's um it's it's the best if if you're a Walmart customer and you shop at Walmart. So they offer this is the Walmart money card and you get 3% cash back on everyday purchases at Walmart when you use your Walmart money card. And you get 2% cash back at Walmart fuel stations and 1% cash back in Walmart stores. So not the best because if you've got a regular 2% credit card, you can, you know, you're doubling that right here. And with the regular Walmart credit card, you're going to get 5% cash back here and at walmart.com and, and through the app instead of instead of 3%. So you can see it right here. This is the Walmart credit card. 5% cash back at walmart.com, 2% cash back on fuel, 1% cash back on everything else. So you get a higher bump. You get a higher percentage at walmart.com. And there's no limit as far as the number of points you can get. There's not the $75 limit that you would get with um, the debit card. So what, what sort of features does this money card have? Well, it's got the app where you can, you can access the app and do it just like all the other ones have. You have cash back, which is mostly Walmart, like I just showed overdraft protection and the one I think that's the most unique is the family account feature so you have a family account feature where you can add up to four additional family members ages 13 plus 
you can track the spending in real time. So this this is kind of a nice thing. And and the thing is, although there's a monthly fee, if you don't have direct deposit of at least five hundred dollars, if you have the family plan, they're not gonna require direct deposit for each one of these kids. So you you could have the whole family on this plan and all you need is one one person that that has direct deposit of at least five hundred dollars a month. You get paid early. Uh, the features here are pretty much like what I have with my Wealthfront uh, cash account, which is also Green Dot Bank, where you get paid early. Get get your pay up to two days before payday or four days before benefit day. Now here's the thing about the no monthly fee. So it, it's uh, kind of deceptive. It's no monthly fee if you have qualifying direct deposits of 500 plus in the previous monthly period. So I believe they check every month. So that that's a bit of a surprise and a disappointment from Walmart. Also, you can move money between family members uh, easy easy with this. Another thing that the so the biggest thing that I think sets this apart from the other debit cards out there is the ability to add a family family feature. The only other one I know that does that that's sort of free is the called Current. It's called Current Bank, and it's a kind of a startup company and they offer 4% interest and you can you can set up uh you know teen monitoring control where you monitor your teen or somebody or you could have a, like a joint account I think the the biggest benefit with the Walmart money card with this is the thing called the biggest benefit with the Walmart money card is this thing called rapid reload where you you basically scan something on your phone to tell them how much cash you're going to deposit. It creates a barcode on the phone. You take it to Walmart, take the money out of your pocket, show show the cashier the code on your phone and give them the money. And then there's no there's no fee. Now, it says here that there's a $3 fee, but uh, if you do the barcode, I believe it's free, and I'll show you the video where it says it's free. If you don't use the barcode, then I think there's the three dollar fee. Now, PayPal also has pretty much an identical thing, w which will work at Walmart, and it has a three dollar fee. If you go to Walmart with the PayPal debit and do the same thing after showing the barcode, it's three dollars. But I believe with this Walmart money card, that it's free. So you'll see here how to make free cash deposits. Now look at this video here. Did you know you can deposit cash to your Walmart money card for free using the Walmart money card app? You don't even need your debit card to add money to your money card account. It's really that easy with the Walmart money card for Walmart shoppers. Just log on to the Walmart money card app, tap your way to the deposit cash menu and select deposit cash using the app. Tap on create a deposit code and a barcode will automatically generate for Walmart. Then just take your deposit code to a Walmart money center or customer service cashier and hand in the cash you want to deposit. The cashier will scan the barcode, complete the transaction and provide a receipt as proof of deposit. In just 10 minutes, the money is in your account. No debit card required and it's free using the Walmart money card app. That's how easy banking is with the Walmart money card. Money management for Walmart shoppers. Okay, there you go. So that that's that sort of explains it and uh you saw how easy that is. So the that's the nice thing about and I've looked at other Now if you have a Chime account, you can do something similar at Walgreens, but not Walmart. So a Chime account is basically the same interest rate as this one, but you also have access to like 19,000 ATMs for free. Whereas with this one, you, you really can only use the ATM at Walmart. If you use any other ATMs, they charge you a fee. So that's the thing I don't like about this one. So it's really, if you're somebody that goes to Walmart a lot, you do everything there, and maybe Walmart's convenient for you, this would be for you. But 
perhaps you use an ATM is closer to your house or or Walgreens is closer then maybe um, another bank would be better or something like Chime if you want the the app features that are similar to this for example a better option for for that would be with the much higher interest rate would be Wealthfront which also has a debit card now you can't do the cash deposits with Wealthfront like you can with with Walmart they're gonna charge you a fee and another one would be Synchrony Bank has a three and a half percent interest savings account Synchrony Bank is also the one that PayPal uses for their debit card you get three and a half percent and you can use any ATM of like 19,000 ATMs for free so that's the benefit of that but you don't have the cash options like Chime has with Walgreens or with the Walmart money card to deposit cash at a, a retail location like Walmart or um, Walgreens there's also you know what's funny about this is it's it's I just found out that my Wealthfront account started a prize they started a prize thing uh, on the 16th yesterday of December and it's a $25,000 drawing and it's available to Wealthfront customers automatically so I'm an I have the option of winning the 25,000 just like everybody all the other customers. And so they offered that and now Walmart has a similar thing because it's the same bank, but it's a $1,000 grand prize. So the you know chances of winning are probably a little better on that than on the $25,000 one. There's no credit check with Walmart money card. So maybe if you're somebody that that's afraid that has bad credit who can't get a credit card and you want a debit card perhaps this would be uh, an option available because there's no credit check for this but then again you could sign up for almost almost any online bank account and they're not going to do your pull your credit either so like I said this is not the best option this is for specific scenarios I think it's the best option but if you're gonna get if you can get closer to four percent on your money like with my Wealthfront account, I get 3.8%. This account only pays 2%. And with 2%, it's just, you know, that with 2%, it's just not enough to make up for having a fee and all these other things. So unless you're you're really somebody who loves, who's getting cash all the time and, you, and Walmart is convenient and you, you're depositing cash and you don't want to use a bank, then I think this is a good option. Like if you don't want to use a regular retail bank, this still would would blow away pretty much Chase or most of these retail brick and mortar banks because they're not going to pay you 2% interest. They're going to pay way less than that. But when you compare it to online banks, it just doesn't it doesn't stack up well. Walgreens also sells these debit cards and you'll see that I think they have a better a better selection of reloadable debit cards in Walmart because they include the PayPal option. Now you can you don't have to get these from the the store. Actually, you'd be better off getting them online because if you actually sign up for the Walmart credit card online, there's no fee, but if you buy the card in store, it's a $1 fee. Now I believe this one here if you buy it in store, it's a $1.95. This is the Walgreens version and it pays no interest. It's just a debit card and you get a discount on um, their products. And here's another green dot one that like Walmart has and it's it's not as good as the Walmart one as far as the you know paying interest in that. Most of these don't pay interest and serve I think I would say is probably the worst. That's just you know fees that you can't get rid of. You know, you can't, even if you get to have direct deposit, they won't waive the fees. So the best one that I saw, this one wasn't very good either, net spend. Um, the best one here is the PayPal one. It links up with the Synchrony bank account that pays 3.5% interest. And you can have access to lots of ATMs, unlike the Walmart one. And you do have, if you do need to make the 
the cash deposits, it has sort of the similar the similar barcode thing like the Walmart one has. You just pay a three dollar fee. So if we look at this one, now I believe the pre the PayPal prepaid MasterCard, you could actually I think if you sign up with the syn Synchrony bank account, you're basically going to get the PayPal. You're probably going to get a PayPal debit card also. I think they're they're sort of like partners because if you look at the you know they're using Synchrony and I would guess you know Synchrony is probably using them for the debit card so I'm not I'm not 100% sure about that but it sort of looks that way so the the benefit of this one um, is it's one of the few it's one of the few uh, there's not a whole lot of bank accounts that offer the debit card with the savings account. So Wealthfront does, uh, Current Bank does, the Synchrony does. Okay, here's here's a picture showing how you add cash with the PayPal card. So it's you'll see here it looks very similar. Go to the wallet, add cash. Choose a store. Okay, so you select from your bank, add a store with cash, with direct deposit, cash a check. Oh, there it's see. Let's go. Where is it? Add a store with cash. Choose the store. Oh, there you go. See the barcode that comes up? So you, you put in how much money you're going to deposit, then the barcode comes up. No monthly fees, no minimums. So this one doesn't have the monthly debit card. This one doesn't have the monthly fee that requires you to do the direct deposit. That's why I like this one better than the Walmart one. And you, these are the options for the cash deposit, but I believe all of these charge a fee. So there's no, this one's, well, I'm not sure what the fee is for each of these, but the Walmart one, is free at Walmart I believe And there's no transaction limit on this one. And I didn't see any transaction limit on the Walmart one either. As far as having, uh, you know, hum as far as having a limit on bill pay, I didn't see any for the Walmart or the PayPal. But let's, uh, let's take a double, let's take a look at the Walmart fees. Okay, here you have the, Here you have the card purchase price. If you purchase it in the store for the Walmart card, it's $1. The monthly fee is $5.94 unless you have a direct deposit of a payroll or government benefits totaling 500 or more to your primary deposit account during the previous month. Family accounts do not incur Family accounts do not incur a separate monthly fee on any direct deposits. Now here, here's what it says here. Cash deposit th fee, $3 with card at Walmart register, free using the app at Walmart. So I think that means you have to have your phone, you have to have the barcode on the phone. If you just go in with the debit card and cash, you're going to be charged $3 if you deposit cash. 
other locations up to 595. Now you can do Walmart check cashing. I, I'm not a kind of a person that che that cashes checks, but I think you can get it free already at a lot of places. Now this is the part that, you know, it's not, it looks like you can't use any ATMs here without paying a $2.50 fee. So if you're going to get cash, it looks like you have to do it inside the Walmart store. And I, I guess what they're trying to do is to get you to, to buy stuff at Walmart and then do your banking while buying stuff. So maybe that's the reason for that. Teller cash withdrawal. So it looks like if you go to a participating bank, they will charge you a $2.50 fee. Over, overdraft fee, $15. I don't understand this. ATM balance inquiry, 50 cents. Even if you do not complete the transaction, they'll charge you the fee. Foreign transaction fee, 3%. Paper check. 12 checks cost you $5.95. That's quite a bit. So that's pretty much the fee, the fee structure. So it's it's not, not the best fee structure. I mean, there's quite a few fees on there that they really shouldn't have. If you if you look at the my, if I look at my Wealthfront account, I don't have you know fees like that, other than the you know cash deposit fee. I think if you take it somewhere. Okay, now this is the one I've never been able to sign up for because they block. They have a very strong. Uh, they have a very strict blocking. They block every single voice over IP number, so you have to have a a cell phone plan, and you can't just buy like a free. SIM card that's tied to voice over, voice over IP. It has to be a smartphone plan. And I've seen some comments that people are complaining that this this company has too many security issues with their debit cards. You know, they, they, people would see a bunch of purchases they didn't make. And somebody was saying they in the reviews they thought it was some type of inside job because they had a lot of issues. And then I saw another review where somebody was saying that they weren't happy about they had an issue with uh, their account and it took them like uh, several months to even look at it and they were on they were unhappy about that but this one this one is also tied to crypto so you know you may have issues like a lot of companies like um, BlockFi that just went bankrupt recently um, you know they get tied to crypto and then it brings down the whole company so that's a little bit scary, but this one has the teen banking feature that's very similar where you can mod monitor someone's banking in your family. You've got fee-free ATMs. This one is 4% annual percentage rate. Okay, here's how you would add cash with current. Open the app, find a location. It looks very similar. Generate a barcode. Funds are instantly available in your account. I don't I don't see anything on the I'm sure there's a fee associated with that. Let's look at their fees. So there's a small fee of $3.50 per transaction to add cash. If you take it to one of the retail stores like Walmart, Walgreens, at current, and I believe with PayPal it's very similar or it's like $3. You cannot add cash at the ATM right now. 
However, you can withdraw cash at our free ATM locations. Okay, that's pretty much the same as a lot of the other ones. But I, I believe Chime, you can do it at Walgreens. Uh, maybe you have to go inside, I'm not sure. But Chime, Chime has a thing with, with Walgreens where you can do it. Another one that I would possibly consider other than the Walmart money card would be Vero Bank. They offer not the highest rate. It, it's a startup company that's received a lot of money recently, but then they've been burning through money too. But they offer a 3%. They offer, Vero Bank offers 3% annual percentage yield, which is a little bit on the low end right now, considering that, you know, my wealth front is paying 3.8 and I could, there's no limit on that. I, it could be like 20,000, 50,000. Now this one, it sets a limit. So the, the, the thing I don't like about this one is it's kind of like a range. So it's 3% to 5%. So in order to earn 5%, you have to receive a direct deposit totaling $1,000 or more each month. At the end of the month, your, your Vero bank account and savings account must be positive. Then you'll earn 5% on your balance up to up to five thousand dollars for the next month and then at, if you have six thousand dollars the thousand dollar anything above the five thousand will only get three percent so a lot of people don't aren't happy about that be, because if you have like ten thousand dollars and you put it in the bank account you're not going to get as high of a rate as like a lot of other banks would offer so that's the thing I don't like about this bank. And, you know, the reviews are kind of spotty, just like with um, current bank, you know, as far as the customer service or getting hold of customer service. And then I saw some people complaining that, you know, the, the bank, the website was down and they weren't able to access their account for a long period of time. So that's a little bit concerning. Another thing that I read this was from May of 2022, is that Vero Bank could run out of funds by end of year filing shows. They reported a $263 million in equity and a burn rate of $84 million in 2022. The, but the bank doesn't need to raise money, its CEO said. And I think that's why you're seeing that instead of offering $100 signups, they're only offering like $30 now. So you, you could get $30 and sign up for this one, and you don't have to do too much. I haven't signed up for this one yet. I think I would actually, I, I think I actually prefer the 3.8% with Wealthfront on, you know, pretty much any balance versus having that tight range where you're getting, uh, well, for me, it doesn't work because I can't get direct deposit, so... I would be stuck at 3%, but if you're somebody that is getting direct deposit and you don't deposit more than 5000 5, and you don't have more than 5000 in your bank, this would probably work for you, maybe. The other one that I would be recommend would be Wealthfront, the one that I'm currently using mostly, and it's 3.8%. They just raised it, and it only took them two days after the Fed increase to raise it. Now, this one... This one, you don't have a monthly fee like the Walmart one has, and you've got a much higher interest rate. They have a $25,000 sweepstakes going on right now. So if you sign up and you've got a bank account, you'll be entered into that drawing. And I believe it ends sometime in January. Thirty-two more days to enter for a chance to win twenty-five thousand. You get the free debit card. You you do have to select that you want want it but they'll mail it to you for free 19,000 free ATMs just like PayPal 
But you know what? The PayPal, you're, going, you're stuck with 3.5% interest. This one, you're getting 38 Okay, so that's my video for today. So what do I think of Walmart Money Card? I think it's a better option than most retail bank accounts. You're probably going to get less fees in that account than you would if you walk to a neighborhood Bank of America, Wells Fargo. You're probably going to get a better interest rate than what you would get at a neighborhood bank you're going to get 2% versus, you know, probably 0.10% at a retail bank. Other than the family feature and the free cash deposits at Walmart, I don't see a major benefit to using the Walmart money card. And I think there's better options out there. So if you don't need those two features, I would say go with the Wealthfront cash account, which pays 3.8%. There's no monthly fee, no direct deposit requirement. Another option, if you want something that's very similar as far as the interest rate and you get the checkbook, you have a checking account, you could do the Fidelity cash management account, which pays around the, the same 2%, but you also get a checkbook. You could also do, you could take your chance with some of the newer banks like Current or Vero Bank, or do the Synchrony Bank or PayPal bank which gives three and a half percent and I think those would all be better options and you get debit cards with all those I think those would be better options than what you would get with the, the Walmart money card so anyways that's my video for today give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you want